Assalamu alaikum, my name is Widi Mutakin from Expos Academy. In this tutorial, we're going to model a simple mushroom in Blender, and then we're going to UV unwrap the mushroom, and lastly, add texture to it using the texture paint feature inside Blender. So basically, all are done inside Blender. Although we're going to model something in Blender, our main focus in this tutorial is actually UV unwrapping and texturing workflow in Blender. Therefore, the 3D model will be very simple and low polygon. I'll be using Blender 2.78C for this tutorial, as this is the current official Blender version available by the time I record the video. First is the modeling process. Let's remove these objects by pressing A twice, then hit X, then choose Delete. Now we want to create a mushroom, and the mushroom that we want to create is almost like a cylinder. So we're going to use a cylinder for our base object. Press Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. We don't want to create high polygon object as I mentioned earlier, so let's change the cylinder vertices to 12. Next, change the radius to 2 unit. Uh, I think this will be too big, 1.5 then. Okay, I think this will do. Now we don't need to change the depth now, just try to remember that we have 2 unit depth currently. Hit Tab to go to Edit Mode. Go to Face Mode and select the face at the bottom. I use my handy custom shortcut to switch back and forth between Vertex, Edge, and Face Mode. If you want to learn how to do this, please check my previous Blender tutorial about modeling a toilet. Okay, now we want to move this face to the ground plane. We can press G to go to Move Mode, then press Z to constrain it to Z axis. Then press 1 to move it 1 unit up. Press Enter to confirm. Remember that we have 2 unit depth, so 1 unit will be halfway, thus making the face exactly at the ground plane. Another way to place a face to the ground plane is to change its Z coordinate to 0. To do this, open the 3D view property panel, you can press N to open it. Or if you forget the shortcut, you can go to view menu down here and turn on properties in here. Ok, now up here we can see the coordinate. When we are in edit mode, by default the coordinates are set to local, not global. Local simply means that the coordinate is based on the pivot point of the object. The pivot point of the object is indicated by this orange dot. So again, I repeat, local means that the face or the selected sub-object's coordinate is referenced to this pivot point. On the other hand, global means that the coordinate is based on the 3D world. Currently, our object's pivot point is located at the center of the 3D world, so changing this coordinate reference either to local or to global will be the same thing. I think you get the idea. By knowing this, basically if we want to move a face to the ground plane consistently, regardless the pivot point condition, you always want this to be in global mode and then type in 0 for the z-axis coordinate. Next, select the top face, press G and type 1. Sorry, I think this is too low. Hit backspace, then type 2. It is too high now. Backspace again, type 1.5, then hit enter. Okay, so this will be our mushroom's trunk. Next, press E to extrude, and then press 0 0.5. Press S to scale. Then press 3, nope, that is too big, backspace and press 2, ok, I think this value is good, press enter to confirm. Press E again, then press 2, enter, S to scale, make it 0 0.2, I think that should do it. Now we have the base object, but we still need to make the trunk curve a bit. Let me open the grease pencil panel first, make a continuous drawing. And use the draw button in here. Ok, basically you want the trunk to curve a bit like this. Also the bottom part of the head, we want to make it curve like this. And lastly, the top area, of course we want to make it curve also like this. Ok, let me erase this crease pencil layer. Go to edge mode, hold alt and click on this edge to select the whole edge loop. Press S to scale and change the scale to 0 0.8. Ok, now to make the trunk curved, press Ctrl R to do loop cut and slide. Click in here, 
scroll up the mouse one so we have a total of two loop cuts then click to confirm the cut and right click to cancel the sliding now we want to scale these two loop cuts to the x and y axis at the same time but not on the z axis can we do that of course we can we can do this by pressing s to go to scale mode and then hold shift then press z now the scale is constrained to the x and y only there will be no scaling on the z axis okay now press 1.1 then hit enter the trunk is now curved next the bottom part of the head or the roof whichever you like to call it Control r again click and then slide this a bit to the edge move this down a bit just add some tweaking as you like okay for the top area let's add three loop cuts Control r scroll twice click and right click now press s then press shift z scale it about this big now we need to unselect this bottom loop cut to do that we can hold shift and alt then right click on one of the edge okay so now we only have these two loop cuts selected press s shift z and just adjust this a bit shift alt right click on this edge loop again scale it again just tweak the edges until you like the result After this, we will move on to the UV unwrapping process in the next video, inshallah. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and give a thumbs down if you hate the video. See you in the next part video. Wassalamualaikum.